Hello and welcome to this edition of Tips and Tricks. Now today I'm going to be talking about 45 degree angle banks. Now 45 degree angle banks are really, really good in the winter. They're also really good in the summer. But hey, it's winter time, so I'm going to be talking about them as if it's winter. But like I said, in summer they're just as good. Now the reason fish like these, especially in winter and also in summer, is because since it's a 45 degree angle, they have the ability to go deep and come up shallow. And they don't really have to go very far to go from up to shallow and drop back down to deep. So that's why 45 degree angle banks are always a bass magnet. But there are some things to look for and some things to not look for when you're fishing 45 degree angle banks. Now, if say you have a 45 degree angle bank and it's all clay, or it's all sand, or it's all chunk rock, or it's all regular rock. And you know, it might be a long stretch, like a half mile long, or even longer. Well, yes, it's always gonna hold fish, but when it's all the same bottom contour, the same bottom construction, like sand or clay or rock or chunk rock, those fish could pretty much be anywhere along it. And it's a really long stretch, and so to sit there and fish it, and fish all of it, fish all of it. So there are some key things you need to look for. And I'm, I'm really kind of talking about 45 degree angle banks because a lot of our lakes, they have dams, they're built in a valley. So most of our lakes, so at least here in California and a lot of places in our country, you have a lot of 45 degree banks. Back in the back end, it might be shallow, maybe way up at the end of a cove, might be shallow, might have a few flats here and there. But for the most part, it's gonna be a lot of 45 degree angle banks. So everything is pretty much the same. And that's why I said there's some things you got to look for. And the things you got to look for is transition of the bottom content. You got to look where it goes from either clay to sand or clay to chunk rock or sand to regular hard rock or hard rock to chunk rock. You, you want to look for those transitions from the bottom texture, what the bottom's created of. Because a lot of those fish will be up there and depending on which bait they're trying to feed on some of the bait might prefer a sandy bottom some of the bait might prefer a rocky bottom some of the bait might prefer chunk rock bottom so if you have places where it goes from one to the other one to the other one to the other that'll up your odds that probably more fish are going to be in that area another thing usually that you should avoid on 45 degree banks and that is if you have a long stretch of sand and there's like one little outcropping of chunk rock or regular rock or clay um, Yes, there'll probably be fish there, but that's going to be a target for every other bass fisherman that looks at that bank there. And so they're going to stop at just that one spot along the whole bank. So you're basically fishing in odds water that's going to be more used or old water or <laughs> attacked water. What you really want to find is just a section of shoreline that's I don't know, it could be 100 yards long, 200 yards long, but it has a lot of different bottom structure. It has chunk rock, then it goes to sand, and then it goes to regular rock, and then it might go back to sand, and then it might go to clay. But it's all sort of compacted into this shorter distance. And those are the odds and the places that you're going to get yourself a lot more fish, and probably a lot more fish are going to be concentrated. And, well, bait choice at the 45 degree angle bank, I, you, can, you can pretty much fish anything. You can get my cranks, you can get my jerk baits, spinner baits, bladed jigs, worms, ned rigs, drop shot. I mean, it's, it's 45 degree angle banks aren't really specific to a certain technique. You just got to figure out what technique they want at that time in that section you're fishing. So right now I have this little, uh, this is, well, this was summer. I said 45 degree angle banks are really good in summer. They're really good in winter. This was in summer and these were for spotted bass. But I have a little section here and I'm going to show you of, well, a show I did. And we were fishing one of these spots that I'm telling you about, 45 degree angle banks. And what to look for, like chunk rock, sand, regular rock, maybe clay. But in a, in a more compact area that there's transitions of it. And so, well, here we go. I do have a fish swim with it. Fish number one. <laughs> you got one? Yeah. Little guy. Mm. 
Wow. Black and red on the Ned. There we go, guys. Fish number one. A little bit of red lips. Oh, there we go. Fish number two. Fish number two. A little bit bigger. A little bit bigger. Yay. Spot number two, guys. Oh, there we go. Oh! All right, fish number three, guys. I don't think he's very big, but fish number three. I can't even see him in that mud. Look at that, guys. Fish number three. Fish. <laughs> Yeah, I found them, guys. <laughs> They're on the rock. On the rock in the mud line. Oh, I threw my worm. They're getting bigger. There we go. They're slowly, slowly getting bigger, guys. <laughs> yep. I had to go out further. Alrighty, fish number five. <laughs> fish number five. What the hell is this? It's a fish? Really? I got a fish, guys. He's taking drag. It's gotta be a catfish. It's not a catfish, it's a damn good spot. Oh, it is a spot. Wow. Interesting. Took drag. Dang. This is a good spot. Tito. He actually took drag. Yeah, this is a good fish. There we go, guys. Biggest one for me of the day. I actually thought I was stuck. It just stopped. <laughs> Weird. See, right here is so perfect because up here, the rock and stuff. Right here, a stretch of sand, and then right there behind me, another rocky point where it's deep. So, three transitions of type of rock like a chunky pebble rock to sand to regular hard rock. So you always look for it. changes in the texture of the shoreline from the pebbly rock to the sand to regular rock okay so there you go 45 degree angle banks they're easy to find if you're in california like i am in a lot of our lakes because you know i said they're dams they're put they're built in the valley they have a lot of steep edges but they are magnets it's just not any 45 degree like i just went over there's certain things you gotta look for you look for what i just told you about and i bet you you will find yourself catching a lot more bass in the winter. And then when summer comes, go back to that same area. I hope this helps. Until next time.